Today we're actually going to cover what it takes to actually turn a uh, Windows 2003 server into a Windows 2003 terminal server. It's a relatively easy thing to do. Now my box here is already configured but I'm going to show you the steps you would normally do to go through there and actually change this into a terminal server. First thing you would want to do is go to your start menu, go to your control panel and go to add and remove programs. Once this opens up you want to click on the add remove Windows components. It's going to bring another box up and then down in this box, go down to the where T is for terminal server, you would want to make sure that this box right here is checked. Once that box is checked, you click on next, it would apply whatever changes you need to make to the server at that point in time and it would say, okay, great, we've got it all added, it's now a terminal server. Beyond that, the other thing that you would want to do to your Windows 2003 terminal server is to go back over here to your computer area and go to manage. You would right click on my computer and go to manage and then you want to make any changes to your users and groups. Now these are local users and groups and these are all individual users and groups that I personally have set up here on my terminal server but uh, you may want to have different ones of course on your environment. Um, the other thing to note is if this was in a domain environment you would just make sure that uh, who's ever in charge of your domain infrastructure that they make the appropriate changes for your users and groups that you have and need for your terminal server. So that's it on actually configuring a Windows 2003 terminal server.